Hey, what's up? I am Bruno Albuz. Thank you again for watching The Real Deal Cooking Channel. This is where it looks and tastes good, right? So today, I'm gonna make something that every seafood lover craves for. You name it. Mussels. Steamed mussels marinière. Moule marinière. I have a one million dollar question. Do you know who introduced the mussels in America for the first time? Guess who? Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I'll be back. First, you want to clean your mussels. Fresh mussels should smell like ocean. If it smells funny, take your skateboard and run away, Papa. Although today, most of the mussels are farm raised. Uh, so uh, they are much cleaner than they used to be. Though, you do want to clean them anyway. There's nothing worse than feeling sand in your mouth when you enjoy seafood, right? <laughs> so you gotta do what you gotta do. Otherwise, you might eventually break a crown which will make the price of the mussels at $1,000 a pound. So you want to grate them using uh, the tip of your knife or a brush, and then you want to get rid of the beard. That's very important. You don't want to use this and shaving gel. You want to use the tip of your knife and going side to side to get rid of it. Let me show you. So you want to let them to disgorge their sand for approximately two hours in cold water. You can drop a few ice cubes in the water if you want. So then drain them and they're ready to go. And I would recommend to clean the mussels uh, the day you want to cook them. By the time my mussels are soaking in cold water, I am going to mince my shallots and garlic. And the moule marinière that are actually served with uh, French fries, uh, moule frites, originating uh, from Belgium and so popular in Jersey, uh, Normandy in France. If you cry, it's a good sign. It's because you love what you're doing, right? <laughs> Who's that? Hey. So, shallots, done. Garlic, done. What's next? Parsley. So you want to use only uh, the leaves, not the stems. Stems are way too strong. And you're gonna need about a fair amount. You know, I like parsley. Parsley, it's actually very healthy. You know, it's interesting that parsley contains more vitamin C than oranges. You wanna gather the leaves together, make like a log, if you wish, and then you're gonna start chopping them. And you can go ahead and chop it. The thinner, the better. This is how dirty the water is after two hours of soaking. Next. So first you want to heat up your uh, Dutch oven or uh, a pot. Then I'm going to add the butter. Then add your shallots. And you want to cook this for about four to five minutes on medium low. So be careful, you don't want to get any color. After about five minutes, throw in garlic and cook until fragrant, less than a minute. Season with pepper, but no salt. Then deglaze with perno and clam juice and reduce the stock by two thirds. Then add mussels, cover and cook for five minutes on high heat shaking them up every so often shake it shake it baby then transfer mussels to a bowl arrange them nicely mix half of the parsley into the sauce and pour over the mussels and you can definitely thicken up the sauce with some heavy cream or a roux but frankly this is heavenly good as is steamed mussels marinière moule marinière done. I hope guys you have enjoyed this moule marinière episode. To get the full recipe, well, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, it's free. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. Bon appétit. Mm.